G'day YouTubers, Steve from Vintage Restorations Australia here. In today's episode, we start installing the kitchen equipment and the stainless steel benches into the van. <laughs> window trim down and over the top of the shelf. We had to cut the top off the shelf and angle the back of it to match the back wall. And then we sicker it in position and put this over the top edge to give you a nice water, weatherproof seal. It also holds the sink quite nicely in position. just to ensure that it all fits nicely. Uh, we make these templates, make sure the lines are all straight and the angles are good um, before we make them out of stainless steel. The benches, as made by our fabricator, beautifully modelled by March in there, uh, to the underside of the, the top of the benches, in the corner here, we have a leg fits on. So what we do is we cut a 15mm ply block and we glue that in with a contact adhesive and clamp it up and then we let that dry. So these legs just screw up in the corner and we attach them with a couple of screws and they locate the uh, and support that corner of the bench. The rest of it here, you can see Marchin has pre-drilled holes there. And so we just screw through there into the plywood and uh, Bob's your uncle. The van's ready to start installing benches now. We're gonna install around, well, this freezer. Uh, and then there's benches down in that corner and running up here. And there's also an overhead um, shelf just along there and the same on the front of the van back up here. There's another shelf along over the top of this window. So we're going to start installing those. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we've done all the prep on those as you saw. Uh, so now it's just a matter of actually uh, gluing and screwing those to the wall. So we use either Sikaflex to stick them to the wall, um, try to keep it nice and clean. There's four different types of fasteners we use to put the benches in. There's these little hex head wood screws, and we use those to go into the plywood on the walls. And we use these uh, flange head rivets, they're quite long, they're a 19mm rivet, so they go quite a way in. Uh, we use those where it might be seen. To attach the legs, the underside, we use these little flat heads. They're only about 15 mils long, so um, they they sort of get in there. They're quite a good big head, so they'll take a bit of load. And then, of course, to fit the feet in, we use a little stainless steel, just a little stainless steel screw like that. So that's the bench that we've had made off that template. And as you can see, it's going to fit in here. It fits quite nicely. So this is the edge that's going to the wall. You've got to remove that plastic protective cover that's on it. So the sicker flex sticks. Only remove it as far as the top. So if a bit of sicker oozes out, it's not going to stick to your bench and you can peel it off later. Sometimes it's a bit tough getting this started. There you go. You just peel that back like that. You can see the hole there that March and drilled. And we're going to screw through that and into the plywood on the wall. You'll normally hit the steel reinforcement that's through there. So you might have to drill, drill right through that so that the timber screw penetrates into it. There you go, Martin. Good beater it down here. That'll look a bit nice. It's nice, mate. What you've done, that's nice. Yeah, I'm trying, man. Hutchins pop that into position, run a level across the top of it, and I'll put a screw in underneath it. You happy with that? Yep. That's 
pretty good. You can see here we've used the hex head screw. It's a bit hard to see in there, but a hex head screw to fasten those in. So the leg just attaches with a couple of screws up into that plywood that you saw earlier. That's the first corner bench in. That gets screwed to the floor by these the little stainless steel screw. Marchant's just cleaning up the sticker flats. As he always does, as he does. One down, four to go. You can see under the shelf here, we've utilised uh, a flange head rivet to fit these. They just look a little bit better than the screws, so we might be able to see it. You don't really see it by the time you're back here on that shelf, but if you're looking up from underneath, you do see those. So we use a flange, flange head rivet in that instance to fix those on. This is the other long bench fitted next to the um, stainless steel sink there. They're all essentially the same fitting process, uh, just a different shape. We've used this gas bottle here just as a bit of a weight. Stick that onto the top of there because that's glued on there as well as riveted. You have a big day, Marley. You're working hard. Our local fabricator can't weld these in, so we've only got the option of gluing them in. We're just checking and putting the leg in on the other side. There's that little hand sink we put in before. Uh, lines up with those ones. And there'll be a tap fitted in here. And the rest of it's just bench space. Got to put an underbench under that now. In this area where it sits up on the wheel arch, we've used a couple of rivets along here to um, just hold that nice and flat. We've had to cut round it to form fit it. Marchin's putting the final rivet in. And we keep those legs in place with a little rivet from the bottom bench. Isn't that right, Marchin? It's all true. <coughs> so we've essentially finished all of the um, bench installation now. We've got the two long benches here, sink at the back. Uh, we've installed that little hand wash sink into the uh, into this this bench top. Uh, underneath, you can see there we've we've got under benches to increase the bench storage uh, capacity. If you spin around to the front, we've got a uh, big freezer installed there with a couple of little benches, and again another under bench there. Up over the windows, we've got these upper shelves. So we've got one there and one up the top. Um, essentially to still come in here, we've got a, another fridge display unit going in there and another uh, support with an oven on it on this side. And that's kind of the fit out. Uh, of course, there's a lot of snagging in and little bits and pieces we still have to do, but uh, that's essentially all of the benches fitted. much wraps it up for this episode if you've got any questions suggestions you just want to say good day or tell us what you think uh, put some comments in just down below there uh, again I'd urge you to subscribe if you haven't because we need subscriptions it's a free process so just hit the subscribe button and you'll be able to follow our adventures and misadventures um, that helps us keep making free content and uh, and sharing it on YouTube um, so until the next episode we hope to see you then Take care of yourself. See ya.